How to unlock the bootloader on the POCO F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can unlock the bootloader on your POCO F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. Do note, both these devices are rebrands of i think the redmi k40 and it is sold as the poco f3 in rest of the world and in india it is sold as the mi 11 x so i do have the poco f3 which is running mi ui 12 based on android 11 now what are the prerequisites for this video well for starters make sure you have backed up your data because unlocking the bootloader is going to factory reset your device and there is no way of unlocking the bootloader without having to perform an automated factory reset next thing make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not and i repeat do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent another thing you need is access to a computer and no you cannot do this without a computer and i do recommend that you have an intel computer running windows in case you have an AMD computer and you get the error of press any key to shut down when you connect your device to the computer in fast boot mode then we do have a fix for that which can be found in the description of the video so all you need to do is download the file unzip it and run it as an administrator and then reboot your computer those of you who are on windows you of course do need to install the drivers and again drivers are linked in the description of the video as well same process unzip the file execute the executable and you should have the drivers installed once you have rebooted your computer then you also need an active internet connection on your phone and on your computer as well do note that you cannot do this with just a wi-fi connection you do need an active sim inside the device which has an active internet connection then you also need to create a me account so the link to create a me account can again be found in the description of the video so in short all the applications all the links everything is in the description of the video so do make sure you go through the description just to make sure that you have all the information before you start this process so the first thing we need to do is we need to sign into our me account so you can go into settings me account and here in sign into your me account so let me go ahead and sign into my me account now once you have signed into your me account you will get the pop-up about Xiaomi cloud needs permission say got it then you need to tap on allow I think at least four times make sure that these two toggles are enabled and then say continue and there it is as you can see I have successfully signed into my me account at this point we can swipe up and go back to the home screen next thing we need to do is we need to enable developer options so we will go into settings about phone all specs tap on me ui version seven times you will get a toast notification that you are now a developer once that is done we can go back go into settings additional settings and here you will have the option for developer options over here you need to scroll down enable oem unlocking select enable once that is done go into me unlock status and say agree and select add account and device so as you can see it wants me to turn off the wi-fi so let us go ahead turn the wi-fi off and as you can see wi-fi has turned off add account and device preparing to add account and device you will get a success message there it is added successfully me account is associated with device now next thing i also recommend that you go into settings and in case you have set up any password or security remove that also go into your accounts and sync and remove your google account as well why are we doing this we are doing this because once you unlock the bootloader it will result in a factory reset and for starters your device will be locked to the me account which you are using and then if you have a google account also added it will be locked to both the accounts so first you will have to unlock the me account and then unlock the google account so i personally prefer to remove the google account so that i do not have to you know unlock two accounts but that is again a personal preference i do certainly recommend that you keep only the me account signed in 
another thing once you have removed all the accounts and security measures except for the me account that is something which you need to keep but once you've removed your security measures and the google account do reboot your device once so here it is we are back into me ui we have removed all the accounts and the security measures except for me account which of course is signed in next thing we need to do is we need to turn off our device and once you've turned your device off you need to press and hold press and hold volume down and power button at the same time till you see the fast boot logo and there it is we are now in fast boot mode and once you are in fast boot mode the next thing you need to do is you need to connect your device to the computer using a usb cable and now we can move over to the computer so here we are on the computer and the tool which we are interested in is the one which says me flash underscore unlock of course this is an archive and as i mentioned earlier the link can be found in the description of the video do note this is a file which is zipped so we do need to extract it so i am using winrar you are free to use any software which you want to select the file right click and then you say extract to me flash whatever the numbers are there and as you can see we now have the tool here me flash unlock double click and here it is this is the tool which we need to unlock the bootloader on the poco f3 and the file which we are concerned about is the one which says batch underscore unlock so again select the file right click and say run as administrator in case it shows you a pop-up window about you know you want to allow this app to make changes to your device select yes and that should open up a tool which is your me unlock tool so here it is this is the me unlock tool and as you can see my device is being detected as alloyth so this is the poco f3 the code name is alloyth those of you who have the me 11x the device will be detected as alloyth in now another thing which you need to note is that i am already signed in because the option which i am getting at the bottom left is sign out if you haven't signed in you will get the option as sign in now once you tap on sign in there will be another window wherein you can sign into your account make sure that you use the same account with which you have signed in on your phone so you have to use the same account on both the phone and on the computer now once you have signed into your account on the unlock tool on your computer right the next thing again we have to ensure that the phone is connected as you can see it is connected and it is showing as locked so now all you need to do is tap on unlock now do note that it might not unlock right away it might tell you that you need to wait for say 168 hours or maybe even more and there is no way to bypass that now if you do get that message then all you have to do is wait and at that point you can disconnect your phone from the computer press and hold the power button the phone is going to boot back into me ui start using your phone normally keep the sim inserted use your wi-fi use your lte just use it as a normal phone and once the specified time is over then you need to again boot into fast boot mode and then press the unlock key so let us go ahead and give it a try let me press unlock as you can see unlocking is in progress right now and we just have to wait so there it is could not unlock more devices by this account so this month wow so here it is peeps i think what's happened here is that i did unlock the poco x3 pro a few days back and unfortunately it won't let me unlock any more devices for the month so poco f3 bootloader unlock will have to wait for for this month so i guess it is may we'll have to try it out in june so see you in june so here we are i had to change the account because they said i could not unlock for another month anyways so change the account sign into the account device is connected let us try to press the unlock key and see what happens so as you can see we are getting the message that we need to wait for 168 hours again as it says do not add your me account again or try to remove it from the device at this point all you need to do is disconnect your device from the computer press and hold the power button which is going to reboot your 
device now once you boot back into miui you can use it normally you can use your wi-fi you can use your sim data just use it as a normal device and please note that no data has been lost at this point all the data is intact when the bootloader is unlocked that is when the data will be wiped out so i am going to see you peeps after seven days or 168 hours all right people so here we are after a week maybe like eight days and as you can see we do have the poco f3 connected to the computer in fast boot mode and next up as you can see i am already signed in so i do not need to sign in again and the next thing which we are going to do is just select unlock and as you can see the unlock process has started and if it is successful the device is going to reboot there it is the device has rebooted and at this point we do have the unlock sign on the top there it is might not be visible a factory reset just happened and at this point we can of course disconnect our phone from the computer and wait for the device to boot and there it is the device is locked so we are going to activate it do note you will have to use the same account with which you were signed in and the account which you use to unlock your device so let me connect to the wi-fi and remove the lock the account was activated and next thing let me skip the initial setup real quick we have booted into miui about phone here it is 12.0.5.0 poco f3 let us go into all specs and then tap on the miui version we are now a developer you can go back go into additional settings developer options and here and if you check for the bootloader status oem unlocking here it is bootloader is already unlocked so there it is peeps that is how you unlock the bootloader on your poco f3 or the xiaomi mi 11x do note the process will work on any miui version and of course the next video you know is going to be how to root and install twrp recovery so keep an eye out on that one it will be linked in the description of this video and that will do it for this one hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you